I'm Helen. I was sent Current Bodies Series 2 LED mask. I actually have the first one in this series. You can see some older videos on that, but I thought I would do an unboxing with you. I'm really excited because this is supposed to help with collagen, which I am lacking at this point. Some areas that I'm hoping this mask will help me address, and we're not going to see in this video because it takes a month to see results, but you know, I'm starting to see my face basically falling. Here's hoping that this new and improved mask is going to give me that boost that I did you see that I just got hit by a leaf that I need. I have not opened this yet, so let's do that together. Before I go any further, I want to say that I was not paid to make this video. I was not even asked to make this video. What I was asked from Current Body is whether I would like to try their Series 2 mask that they've spent five years redeveloping, which uh, obviously I do. I can say whatever I like, and I'll probably make a follow-up in about a month of trying it daily, and we can have a look at results then. So if that interests you, make sure that you like, and make sure that you subscribe. So let's talk about price. This mask is 469 US dollars at the time of my filming this, but don't pay full retail price. I have a code or look for a code elsewhere online, and it's costly, but if you're familiar with the world of LED masks, they all tend to be on the expensive side. This is not an inexpensive product. There definitely are very inexpensive LED masks. And I mean, you can do your own research, but I think with something with so many lights near your eyes, at least for me, I feel more comfortable going with a really reputable company. Current Body is an English company. They've been around a very long time and I trust them. And I can't say that about the inexpensive LED masks that are out there on the market. According to the marketing materials, this new and improved mask has three highly precise LED wavelengths, 236 bulbs with upgraded unmatched precision for maximum results is what they say. They've got deep near infrared, they've got near infrared, and they've got red, and I will not pretend to understand every distinction between these three wavelengths, but I know that they target different skin concerns. Another key feature is that they've improved the shape of this. The original one is great. I still have and I use that one, but this one, I see that it is contoured more. It's an improved flexible silicon shape that is more shaped like a face. If that makes sense, it's not as flat as the original one. Current bodies introduced something called Veritas, which means that each mask has its own Veritas NFC card that will give you more information on how your mask has been tested and how it's going to deliver results. I also chatted with a brand rep and I do have to say with this company, you will get answers. You will get really good communication. At least all the times I have needed to contact current body. They've been really good. Um, she tells me that they've also added 16 extra deep near infrared bulbs around the eyes and the mouth where signs of aging are more pronounced. So I didn't want to forget to tell you guys that. Unfortunately, I am constitutionally unable to not goof around when I have this mask on. It is just a great sight gag. So I'm not really wearing this mask today. I've got a full face of makeup on, so I'll read the instructions and tomorrow I'm gonna give it a proper go with no makeup on, so I will see you then. Good day, let's assemble the mask now. I read this booklet, so I want you to make sure that you stick around and listen to all the people that are not supposed to purchase or use this mask right now. You wouldn't wanna buy such an expensive thing and then find out it's contraindicated for you, so stick around for that. But in the meantime, let's put this mask together and try it. So I've been charging mine, just using the USB-C that comes with it, and you just very simply plug it into there. Not only does it beep, but it flashes as well. You will see this, and these may look confusing. What these are are little eye shields that you can use if you want to, because some people find this, and myself, find this a little too bright around the eyes when you put it on. These feel so slight, they're just like, very light foam pieces. They almost feel like they're just part of the packaging and you can toss them, don't toss them, keep them because you may want to insert them. So one's got a tiny little L on it and one's got a tiny little R left and right. And so if you want, you pop these in. This is what the eye shields look like inserted. They are the tiniest bit fiddly to get in there, but if you have a little bit of patience and you just work them, they will pop in quite nicely and smoothly. This is to just shield your eyes from the brightness that can come from the LED lights. They are optional. So now you've got these straps that are for the back of the mask. And this is different from the original one because it only had, I think, this one strap. So we're just inserting this Velcro back in here. So it's got these two Velcro straps for one side. And then boom, you affix this. I think that's all you need. Now it doesn't actually say in the booklet, I believe this to be an extra strap for if you just want to use this instead. Perhaps it's more comfortable, perhaps your hair's in a chignon or a bun in the back, then maybe you just want to strap the top. Sometimes I wear my hair in a bun and then this would be like right on top of it. So I think that that's what it's for. Okay, so I think we're pretty much assembled. So let me just untwist this. Open up the Velcro. The eye shield popped out, so I'm going to put it back in. Okay, here we are. 
If you don't have great mobility to put your hands behind your head, probably just put it on first and then slide it over your head. That's what I would do. And let's try it out for the full 10 minutes. Okay, so it automatically shuts off after the 10 minutes. Let's remove. I wanted to tidy up my desk to make sure that I was bending in different ways and that it was, I was moving around to see if it shifted. It did not. And I really do think actually the eye guards were actually helpful because they really conformed to the face and it all felt really comfortable the whole time, but a bit hot in there. So like any silicone mask where it touches your skin, it does warm up underneath. It's not uncomfortable. I'm not wearing any serum or moisturizer as per the directions. You're supposed to use this on completely bare skin. I was wondering at the pressure points whether it would leave grooves in my face. There's just the tiniest bit of red I've noticed here from where the mask was sitting on my nose. So if you only watch one part of the video, I hope it's this one. I'm gonna go through some of the key things that you should know inside the booklet. And I know your eyes are probably closing. You feel like you're back in school, but these are important to know if you're gonna be shelling out for this LED mask or any LED mask. In terms of contraindications, certain medical conditions, medications, chemicals, can give you photosensitivity, which is sensitivity to the light. It says these can include many medications, skincare supplements, antibiotics, diuretics, and steroids. St. John's wort, certain perfumes, any perspirant, antibacterial soaps, artificial sweeteners, naphthalene, which is mothballs, petroleum products, brightening agents found in laundry detergent, and cadmium sulfide, a chemical injected into the skin during tattooing. So you need to know that. These are medical conditions for which if you have it, you should not use this device. Epilepsy or seizures triggered by light, metabolic disorders such as porphyria, autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus, SLE, photosensitive disorders, active cancers, use of photosensitive medication or skincare, eye disease, glaucoma, cataracts, recent laser eye surgery, light-induced headaches or migraines, and that makes sense. Okay, for best results, use three to five times weekly. Do not carry out more than one treatment on the same area within a 24-hour period, so that's good to know. Make sure your skin hair is applied after using the device as it can cause irritation and block light penetration not before. So obviously this is not meant to mix with serum or anything else. Moisturizer you might be wanting to put on your skin, just use them after the treatment. I actually spoke to the brand representative because I wanted to get a bit more information for you guys. This is pronounced Veritas and this card inside you can open it up with your phone. Each mask features a unique Veritas NFC card that provides information on how your individual mask delivers results. So this is something new. So if you want to know more about your mask, this is the way you do it. You just tap your phone onto this card and it will tell you what's going on. My thinking as to why they did this not being an expert in LED masks is that there are many different masks on the market, but you don't always know what the testing is that's going on for them. They can make kind of any claim that they like, but without showing you the results or having anything traceable without the R&D, it's kind of hard to know exactly what it is that you're buying. So I think that current body is trying to be a leader in this particular space and making everything very traceable for the consumer to understand. So if you do want to try this out, use my code CBHelen and I'll also put a link down below, not only in the description, but I always put my links and my codes also in the comment box because I know sometimes those are easier to find. I'm gonna give this a go for a month. What have I got to lose? So be sure that you stick around for that. I've got a vlog if you're interested at all and in sort of seeing me go about my life and also get a better look at what my skin is now. I'm gonna link it up. Go ahead and watch that next. We'll see you in the next video.